So I'll just I'll just go with the Lionel Messi um, as the most complete forward. You're going for Messi <laughs> in a team of leaders, no chance. Yeah, bro. The way, zero bro the, way he's contro- the way he's controlling that Barcelona team right now, and Mate, he's been doing nah, it years. No, nah. uh, what do we control? He wants to leave. I'm talking about. He wants about, to leave. I'm, I'm talking about we're talking about leaders, yeah. This episode's about leaders, yeah. This father son team is about leaders. How are you calling Messi a leader with Sooners in Iniesta? What was he doing for Barcelona? Just be honest. You can't. Uh, nah, yo, you can't. Uh, uh, one second, one second, one second. You cut out. You cut out for a bit. <clears throat> Technical yeah, where issues we? again. Where were we? Uh, you're talking about Messi being nah, a leader. So, nah, Messi, I don't see Messi as a leader. Don't get me wrong. Brilliant player. Brilliant player. One of the greatest of all time. Won the lot. Done whatever. But like I said, you take Xavi, Iniesta away, Puyol away. You think about it. Since he's had the captain's armband at Barcelona, what has he won? They haven't won a Champions League since 2014. Six, six years for Barcelona with that Champions League. It's a massive, massive thing. Especially with him being there. Not being... Messi not winning a Champions League for six years is crazy. Whilst he's arguably at the peak of his career, that's that, I, I 100% agree with you there, and it is crazy. Well, don't get me wrong. If it, but, was a, if it was a team, I'd just tell it. I'd probably have him in the team myself, yeah. But leadership, but, you can't you can't put him in a team, man. You're, you're forgetting that. Look at just look at the Barcelona team. There's no one there apart from Messi. And he's carried Barcelona. Doing. He's carried the whole of Catalonia on his shoulders. Correct. Explain and, to me, explain to me how he's carried them. He's, he's carried them multiple because times. They, they lost to a they lost to a very very poor Real Madrid side. They lost the league to a very very poor Real Madrid side last season. So no, you tell me, but, but, but Real Madrid was still Real Madrid still had a lot better um, team than uh, Barcelona. A I lot don't better. think so. I don't think so. Enough. They just lost their biggest. They just they just, they just lost their greatest player of all time, Cristiano Ronaldo. They lost him. Yeah. They spent 100 or so million on Hazard. He was avid injuries, yeah. Bale was in the team. They had no big names. They had Vinicius Jr. They had Vinicius Jr. tearing you up in the El Clasico. No, you, 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 you put them head to head and I guarantee you, Real Madrid outweighs them in every single department apart from where Messi stands. But look at Barcelona. They're playing 17-year-olds, 16-year-olds, top, top talents. But at the same time, they don't have that experience at that high level, especially at the El Clasicos. We're talking El Clasicos like... The, the, the biggest rivalry in football. Um, you, you, you know, you got to put all these things into account. And then you got to think that Messi on his own, if he's on his own, literally, look out the, the defence is literally, you can't even call it a defence. Yeah, but I've seen the, this, isn't, this isn't about on your own. This is, we're talking about leaders, yeah? You're the yeah. one who's got to step up and lead the full team. Yeah. Ronaldo, I'm, I'm, you know, not just, I just want I don't want to keep comparing to Ronaldo, but Ronaldo won the Euros and look at the Portugal team they had. Ronaldo went into the final with the look of the Portugal team he had compared to France. Yeah? And he led. He went off injured, but he still led. He was having a go. He was the second manager on the bench. And it's not even about just coming at him. It's all leaders. This guy took a 3-0 lead to Anfield, yeah? With Suarez in his team, with Coutinho in his team, with big players like PK, Jordi Alba. Liverpool had no Mon- They had no Salah. They had no Firmino. They bought Wijnaldum off the bench and he scored two goals. And they scored four. You got Divock Origi looking like a superstar. You had Trent. You're, you're, this you're right. You're right. Trent you're right. taking well, the team. They were sleeping. Why? Because there was no leader for Barcelona on that night. That was sleeping that night as well, man. Tell, tell me one more thing. Tell me one more thing. Go and go for it. Uh, is it easy to go to Anfield? No, it's not easy to go no. to Anfield. But there it's go. easier so, to go to Anfield when there's no Salah. There's no one out. I mean, there's one out on the bench who hasn't started. There's no Firmino. You got Diva Carigi starting up. You got Jordan Henderson in the middle of the pitch with the made him like Zinedine Zidane. Come on, man. They're taking the mick. <laughs> you know, like don't get me wrong. Messi, Messi, brilliant player. I will never ever hate on the guy. But leader for me, no chance. No, no the, chance. The, Xavi and any yesterday no, leading that team much better. Point. That's besides the point. You have to look at the way he's carried Barcelona. They've been in the dump for, as you mentioned, five, six years. Oh, it's like a They've broken record, man. But, broken record, this is, man. This is what I'm saying to you. What has he carried? It's like me saying to you, Rashford has carried Manchester United for the past five seasons. But really and truly, they haven't won to think. Why has he carried them to? He's carried them from... He's carried them to staying in the Premier League. It's about, it's about showing that... 
showing that kind of personnel out up front that yo there is someone there now well, like I I said, where was that someone where, where was that someone on that night in Anfield when they needed him to step up where was he no but that, like i said is is never there's so ever, many other big games there's so many other big games last season El Clasico two goals to Anfield and said you last season both El Clasico where was he Especially with, especially with scouts there, that you, 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 you know, I, I, I'm feeling. Not too much straws, man. Dude, 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 Barcelona are sitting, sitting. You know where they're sitting in the La Liga table right now? They're sitting in eighth. And you tell him, you tell him that's Messi's carry. Tell me, though. tell me, tell me how many, how many goals has Messi scored this season? Most of them be from the penalty spot. Yeah, he. I don't know where his leadership is, and this is us just talking about Barcelona. Do you even want me to go and get started on Messi for Argentina as a leader? <laughs> Please tell me that. Because <laughs> game over. Game you over. do not want to talk what about Messi or Argentina. What, what you gotta look at? What you gotta look at is yeah. And the, please the, don't tell me it's about the players he's got around him. Huh? Don't tell me he hasn't got good players around him at Argentina. Okay, na- name me five top top players. You got Paulo Dybala, who they were stupid and they didn't even start properly in the last World Cup that went. So he wasn't playing. Got, so he wasn't playing. Got, yeah, but yeah. who's that down to? Messi's got massive influence. But yeah, why yeah, wasn't Darbonne playing? Or, uh, why wasn't Why wasn't Darbonne playing? Because he plays in the same position as Messi. What did Messi do at the 2018 World Cup? Nothing. Yeah, got- he's taken he's taken Argentina to the final. Fair enough. But he's carried Argentina. He's carried Barcelona. Well, what else do you want him to carry in it? You got the thing- You ask me who has they gone out here. You got Sergio Aguero. You got Angel Di Maria. You got quality, quality players, experienced players. You can't say. He hasn't got nobody around him. You know who Ronaldo had when they won the Euros? He had Jose Font and Pepe in centre back. Look who scored the oh. winner. Some guy called Ede. Nobody even heard of him before that game. You had Jav- forget that you had charisma. Someone who they called washed up and finished. You had charisma smashing it. Ronaldo Sanchez. Bro, Renato these, Sanchez, these players, Renato Sanchez these is on loan at Swansea when they won the these Euros. Players you mentioned, these players you mentioned, yeah, they outweigh any Argentina player. Um, no chance. Apart from what? Me, are you what? telling me? What are did you, you just say? Me, are you what telling me you'd rather say? have? Listen, would what you rather have just... Eddie? Would you rather have Eddie? Just... Oh, let me finish. Let me finish. Would you rather have Eddie or would you have Sergio Aguero? Sergio Aguero. Yeah, that's one. Would you have Angel Di Maria or would you have Charisma? You rather Angel have Di Maria Ang- was injured. Oh, I was, he was injured when he, 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 he scored the screamer against France. He was the one who kept it competitive. Oh, yeah, France would have dealt with him. But he got injured after that. No, he played in the game against Nigeria as well. And he played in the game against Croatia when they fucked yeah, it. Messi, Messi carried him through Nigeria. He carried him through Iran. He carried him Messi through... Messi carried him through... Look who you're saying. Messi carried him through Iran. <laughs> My dad could carry him on his next year. Hey, put me up forward, forward against Iran. I'll score some goals. I could lead him <laughs> against Iran, bro. He mastered Nigeria and Iran. The and Nigeria... Is, the the is, give up. Good it's after stop, man. Maybe no, no, stop, bro. Stop, yeah. stop, 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 you know, the, the, the debate that you're bringing forward is the Messi and Ronaldo one, regardless of whatever happens in it. So, you, forget the leadership, you're bringing the Messi and Ronaldo one forward. Yeah, but I'm the comparing is, them, I'm comparing them as leaders, I'm not comparing nothing else. What I've compared so far is them yeah, as leaders. Talking, that's what you've been talking about for yeah. the last 20 minutes, Af. But this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. I, my chosen leader, it will be Messi. Because if you've got all these players that I mentioned behind him, he can, he can literally do anything for you. He can do anything for you. On that what note, do? Sam, thank, right, you for the, thank you for the clickbait. He can do anything but win a trophy for Argentina. Copa America, he couldn't even win. Mr. Penalty. Oh. Mr. Penalty in the Copa America final when he mattered. He's yeah, not a dude, leader, man. He's a brilliant dude, player. Dude. Brilliant player, but he's not a leader. So, so you scrutinise him when he misses penalties. You scrutinise him when he scores penalties. Make your mind up, man. Make your mind when up. When did I scrutinise him for scoring said, a penalty? You said, you said he's only scored penalties this season, yeah? And then, then you said, oh, he, he missed a penalty. Because, but what, all right, all right, but why did I say that? Why did I say that? Because Vich said, look where Barcelona are in the table. Why are they? Because Messi has not led by example. Messi has not done what he's supposed to do, which is score goals and lead his team. That's why, like, whatever we spoke, whatever we speak about, I'm gonna keep coming back to the leadership point. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's right, that's right. But I'm, I'm agreeing that Barcelona is in turmoil and they're in that position because there's obviously major issues going on in that club. That, because you know, Messi, because Messi has not got any Iniesta and Xavi to no, carry him. That's the, no, that's the honest truth. Don't get no, me wrong. I still think he can do it with that team. 
he's 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 transgressed his game into midfield now. He plays more central now than he did before, and he's obviously trying to he's filling them boots. Just imagine when clubs like Real Madrid or you know big top clubs like even Bayern Munich when they replace players, they do like for like. Now, obviously, with Barcelona, there's there's been an issue from years back. So, say five years back, where the club on the board never ever wanted, you know, the the club to go forward. They just were, you know, whether it was financial means or whatever it was, they wanted something out of it, which you know, none of us will ever will probably ever know. But I don't at think the same so. time, I don't think you so. Expect- you spent hundred, you spent hundred thirty million on Usman Dembele. Yeah, but what has he done? He's 100, he's 120 million on Coutinho. That's 240 million invested in two players. But, yeah, but, the whole, what but, 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 no, but that's what I'm saying. So you're complaining they haven't invested in the team they have. Barcelona have invested, but whether they become good or not become good is not. But where, who do you expect to turn to when you're not doing? When a players first come, when players come to Barcelona, why do they come? They don't come because Barcelona is a nice place to live. They come because they want to play with Messi. But if you're coming in and Messi's walking around, this and that, I can't be bothered. And then he wants to leave as well. Come on, man. Pjanic yeah, went well, to Barcelona. Bro, Pjanic had if you know Pjanic, I played for Juventus last season. He had an interview. Yeah? He went from playing with Cristiano Ronaldo to Messi. He goes, I want to go there because I played with Ronaldo. I want to go play with Messi now, yeah? Two days later after that interview, Messi saying, I want to leave Barcelona. They interviewed Pjanic. Pjanic goes, I don't want to interview. Yeah, but... The guy that just went to the club. This is the thing. Messi has his own feud with Barcelona. That that feud will, like, you know, only they can settle that. Whatever is that happens... What, is that what is that what a leader does? Is that what a leader does? Has feuds with the top, bro, bro. top, top one of the but club? The, the, same, the same argument can be raised where, you know, when the, the, the ropes got a bit tight at Real Madrid for uh, Ronaldo, he jumped to Juve. Uh, Italy, we, we can't disrespect the league because he's a top what? leader. Bro. But, what did he just say? He left oh, with the Champions League. League. <laughs> what did you just say about Ronaldo? Saf, can you just repeat what you just said, please? Well, listen, I've got one thing to say. Listen, i got one thing to say. He's Salim in disguise today, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> you got Salim in disguise here, lads. Hey, Sal, you're Salim in disguise, bro. He just oh. said when the going got tough for Ronaldo at Real Madrid, he left. My man conquered and won everything, become the top no, goal. That's, 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 won that's about three right. Champions League in a row. So how, yeah, how did the going get tough? You can't you can't deny the fact, but you um I don't know if you followed it closely, but why did why did Zidane leave at that time? Soon as Ronaldo mentioned he's leaving, it, because there was something happening between the between um, behind the scenes. That's why as soon as Ronaldo left, Zidane left. The the club started slowly going down. Then obviously they brought Zidane back to try and bring. And him Renal- back. I listen. Everything was going on, and all at that point they had a baby hiccup. Which let's yeah. be honest, so, this day and age in football. This day and age of football, it happens at every club. But you said they had a hit exactly. cover, Zidane left, Zidane left, but what happened? Zidane come back, they sorted it out, him, Ronaldo, Champions League finals, let's go win it again. Because that's what leaders do. Something's not going right, they'll sort it out, they'll go win the big trophies again. That's what but, but, is but, but, but since Zidane's come back, has Real Madrid been the same? They haven't? Why? Why have they not been the same? Because Ronaldo has left, he's the main man. The face of Real Madrid, the leader, the greatest of all time. He Stop left and they continue I know, but listen, <laughs> you're saying Real Madrid, you're saying Real Madrid have wasn't good enough here. Real Madrid weren't good enough and they still be Barcelona and Messi to the title, which is what I'm saying. They bore Hazard, he wasn't good enough. They got Vinicius Junior, who nobody knew of, and he come and scored in El Clasico, went on, they won the league against Barcelona and Messi. This is what I'm trying to say. Bro, it comes it comes down to it comes down to head to head. Look at the look at the squads, bro. Look at the teams head to head, bro. In every, nearly every position, Real Madrid has a better player. That's what right, come, come, come let's compare Real Madrid's front three to Barcelona's front three goal. From last it, season, it. let's compare the front three. You got Benzema, you had Asensio or Rodrigo, and then you got Vinicius Junior, yeah? Hazard, didn't, Hazard was injured most of last season and Bale didn't even get a, get a chance. We all know the situation with that. Then you look at Barcelona, it was Messi. You had Usman Dembele as well. You got the Ansu Fati, he's coming up, and you got Suarez. You got Griezmann as well. Oh my days, I can't believe I'm having this conversation and comparing these guys. Griezmann, bro. You're comparing. Bro, you're bro, 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 regardless, bro. regardless, lads, is Griezmann a quality player? Yes or no? Simple quality. answer. Absolute quality. One of the best around. Bro, you, 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 you know your fans. 
you know your fans, yeah? You know your fans uh, <laughs> behind you, yeah, bro. They must be cheering, you know, with the flags out and everything, bro. <laughs> yeah? No, bro, bro. You know, shall, shall I be honest with you? Bro, I'll be completely honest. No bias, yeah? No bias. Raheel has articulated himself, yeah, with facts, backed them up, yeah? Whilst when you've been talking, you've been... Basically, what Vish said, you've been answering your own questions. You've been going in circles. To one point, you said, let's forget about leaders when that's the whole thing we're talking about, bro. Like, no, because, there's no, there's bro, no debate bro, in this. Forget, like, no, bro, you're forgetting that the topic changed itself. It transgressed itself, bro. You know. Right. You, I, I, I think I'm not, no, we should, we should end this and move on to the next topic. I mean, you know, there's plenty of podcasts to have this debate. But, but, quick one. I don't want anyone to think I hate on Messi or I don't think Messi is a good player. Yeah. One of the greatest players I've ever seen in my life play football. But leader, not for me. But yeah, let's move on. But yeah, that was my team. <laughs> what your team was that? Oh my God. <laughs> more, you gave more than your team, bro. Uh, I just woke up because it, we clearly <laughs> got three, four episodes for Messi and Ronaldo. We're going to get it sorted in like one or two, I imagine. I'm going to go crazy. My neighbors are going to start complaining. This girl's going on a mad one. We need to get rid of him. <laughs> that was a, that was a, you know what? That was, a great, that was a good debate. What that was a good yeah. preview. Again, we'll make Great it. Content. We'll make it free yeah. on free, free Messi, free Ronaldo. So, if you're interested in being on Friday night's counter attack team, Messi, do let us know. Give us a message on. Let us know, but make sure you're ready for the smoke.